I've assigned you a driver for your next job. Meet us at the rendezvous. I'll be right there. Where is everyone? I didn't need everyone. Just you. Because I'm the only one who could get it done. Sure, let's go with that. Sergio, huh? You're familiar with Panteros? I mean, my roommate's one of them, so yeah. Oh, don't give me that look. Rent's expensive. Is this gonna be a problem? I mean, for the roommate code, I'm gonna have to fold her laundry for two weeks, but beyond that, I'm golden. What are they moving? Antiquities, mostly. The Nawali was waiting to sync up with them before he was captured. You mean before we captured him? I'm pretty sure you were about to die when I came along and saved your ass. And yet, if I had installed him, he would have got away. So, you're welcome. Do you want it to look like an accident or a statement? What? Well, I'm assuming you want me to make the convoy disappear. No, I want you to follow it. So I can kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. So we know where they're going. Sure, and then I kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. No. Then you will report back to me, I will arrive with the team, and you will go home and hit the showers before you have a chance to fuck it up. You think I can't do this? I think you like getting a paycheck. Follow the convoy. Don't fuck it up. Hey there. Name's JR. We about to see some action? Nope. Orders are to follow the convoy, observe its activity, and report back. Seriously? The convoy's right there. You know, I heard about you. I'm a little bit of a maverick myself. Two crazy badasses like us, we're not gonna mix it up? No. My buddies are counting on me to get my performance bonus. Can't afford to screw it up. We don't engage, just observe and report. Looks like them motorcycles are falling back. Probably just drop something? We gonna just let them shoot at us? Ren was very clear on not engaging. We don't do something? All we're gonna observe and report is getting dead. Fine. Just this once. <laughs> That's how I like to ride. Knocking them down. Okay, back in the set. Here on out, observe and report. Oh, fuck. They got a turret. Can't take this kind of fire forever. Our orders are to follow it. No can do. Unless you want to take that thing out. God damn it. Getting closer. Wait. What are you doing? Taking out the turret. From the roof? No, from the truck. Get me closer. You're out of your goddamn mind. I thought you said you were a maverick. A little bit. I said a little bit. Technically, still within mission parameters. Behind! Oh, not so good. I Heads up. You got more incoming. Oh, come on. I was almost done. As long as I'm here. Why am I seeing gunfire at the back of that convoy? When? Well, there was motorcycles and then a turret and one thing led to another. Well, that was good. You don't sound mad. Did you honestly think I would send one car after a convoy that size? You're just a distraction. We got a drone following these motherfuckers. Wait, you used me as bait. That's the job you were born for. Mission accomplished. Now finish what you're doing and get out of there. That turret had given them a taste of their own medicine. Dead as a doornail. Stayed home. JR! 
Pick me up. I can't get close. That truck's on fire. Shit. Fuck, the car's on fire. That one had to hurt. Oh, oh this one's burning too. I thought I ordered you to retreat. Honest to God, I am trying. Well, as distractions go, you're exceeding expectations. Great, can you put that in my performance review? Sergio, don't fall back! Don't fall back! Motherfuck! You try to lose him, I'll keep him off our asses! Marshal needs to stay the fuck out of my business! He's charging us! Shoot him! Shoot him! You think you can take my shit? Come on again! Push him back! Nobody steals from Sergio! Rolling up my six! Back off, asshole! I see a way out! Keep your head down! It's gonna be tight! Whoa! Whew! You reckon that fella's compensating for something? Don't count him out. It'll take more than a car wreck to kill that some bitch. Okay, time to finally get the fuck out of what is that? Sandstorm! They're going in! Come in, newbie! When? We hear you. We're falling back. Negative. The drone is down. I need... Need eyes on that convoy. I'm giving you field command. Fuck, really? Do what you gotta do. But follow the lead truck until it stops, then radio... JR, let's get him. The kid gloves are off. The kid gloves were on? Uh. Come on. Do it for the ring. Uh. Oh. Ah. Go. Can't take all of us. Uh. Uh. I can barely see him! Knocking him down. Think I see the main convoy ahead. Uh, we got a problem here. Be more specific. Sand's clogging up my intake. We're losing speed. Great! Just get me into leapfrog range and fall back. That's suicide. I got us this far, didn't I? I don't want to be a maverick no more. Better start praying! Shit! Turrets! <laughs> Those turrets connected by a hitch? Drive me to that flat better, I will shoot you in the fucking face. Oh! Shit, 
Foreman's bonus better be huge. It's just it's one, one fucking, fucking person. person. Exceeding expectations. Wen said to do what I need. End of the line, motherfucker! Oh. You're dead! Mierda! Oh. I'm gonna do to you what I did to your truck. You fuck with Sergio's business. You think you can walk away from that? Motherfuckers are dead now. What you get for smuggling antiquities? They deserve that. Hey, Gwen. I followed the convoy. It, uh, it stopped. You did good. Holy shit, a compliment. Yeah, yeah. Stay here. Newbie, get over here. Now! Gwen says you were responsible for retrieving the Hummingbird Codex. If that was something in the truck, then yes. Impressive work. I wouldn't have been able to do it without JR, sir. Team player. I like that. There's someone I'd like you to meet. This is Dr. Antonio Espina. He's the chief curator for the Museum of Santo Aliso. It's nice to meet you, sir. The retrieval of these relics is no small feat. The museum is in Marshall's debt. Just doing my job, sir. Antonio's museum has a contract with Marshall, and he requested you to be in charge of security. What? Gwen's filled me in on your eccentricities. But the results speak for themselves. Sir, it's my second day. Sounds like someone wants to talk themselves out of a promotion. No, no. I want the job. I'm just surprised. Things change fast here at Marshall. So, can Antonio and I count on you or not? Yes, sir.
there, it's me, JR, from Marshall. I got a favor to ask if you got a minute. Might be a little something in it for you, too. Yeah, I ain't doing much else. Be there in a jiff. Hey, JR, what's up? Well, after that little clusterfuck we had with the Panteros, you know, when my life was flashing before my eyes, I started thinking about early retirement. Seems fair. Took my bonus and savings and bought this empty lot. I'm fixing to open my own garage. Trouble is, a pack of those idols anarchists made off with my shipment of car parts. Without it, my garage is gonna fail before it even opens. And you want me to get the shipment back? After our last run, I figured this should be easy. That'd make it worth your while. Say, a percentage of the garage? A percentage? I'm in. Hey, yo. Kiv, quick question. The idols robbed this fella I know. Any idea where they'd take his stuff? Probably to the camp. This friend of yours some rich bigwig? Nope. Just a regular Joe trying to make ends meet. That doesn't sound right. The idols are about taking down the corrupt system, not the little guy. Yeah, and they never get overzealous? Well, just be careful, okay? The idols are like a family to me. I promise I'll be nice to them. That must be the camp. The Collective really know how to throw a party. Who the hell are you? I'm, uh, looking to join? You? Idols? A new recruit? Well, come on in. Go find Cheryl, with a snake mask. She'll hook you up. One of us, you gotta wear pink. Hi, Cheryl. I'm thinking about joining the idols. Yeah! Ready to take down the establishment? Sure. By like stealing car parts and shit? Or by punching everybody in the neck till they choke! <laughs> but hey, you do you. The idols are a big tent. You like heists? Talk to Martin. He's headbanging around somewhere. You Martin? Heard you were a heist man. Fuck yeah! I made this botnet that hacks Wi-Fi enabled refrigerators. Come summer, there won't be a working ice dispenser in town. Sounds great for the little guy. But do you steal real things? Like car parts? What even is real in a late stage capitalist digital economy? Boom. Mind blown. But if you like meat space theft, talk to Timmy O. He's around somewhere working on his bike. Timmy O, I heard you bring in big hauls. Anything that ain't nailed down. Just boosted a shipment of car parts off some cog in the big auto machine. 
Hog wild. Where would you even keep some like that? Warehouse and back, with the other refuse of materialism. Told Kev I'd try to play nice. Stop! What are you doing here? I heard you have some car parts I was hoping to, uh, take back. Fuck off! The thing is, they belong to one of the little guys you say you fight for, so... There are no little guys. Just idols and tools of the system. Uh, down for the count. I surprised myself. Ugh. Oh, I have to tether that container and drag it back to JR. This was never fucking yours! Holy shit, you actually did it. 
Now I can finally build my garage. I always deliver on a job. Hang on. Kev, what's up? You said you'd be nice to them. I was. They were shitheads. Well, now they want you dead, and they're headed your way. Ah, shit. Thanks for the heads up. JR, we got idols coming. Those some bitches are back. Time to beat some asses. Ah! Your membership's been revoked! Stay off the rock! Glad that's over. Thanks for saving my business. No problem. Thanks for the percentage. Now all I need to do is build a garage. How's that gonna work? Just you watch. Here it is. The world premier grand opening at Jim Rob's Garage. The service center has all the tools you need to customize your ride. And if you see a car out there with something you like, bring it on in. Now that we're in business, let's talk shop. <laughs>